Hey, Sterile from Barbecue Superstars, and we're standing here with the one and only John Willingham. John Willingham sold 300 and how many thousand? 333,000 dollars worth of ribs in five days on the Washington Mall. That's right, the National Mall, right in the shadow of the National, um, well, the museums, wow. uh, the Smithsonian, and the National Monument. Wow. That's, uh, what is that thing, four or five hundred feet tall. Wow. Now, uh, then you've won the Memphis of May how many times? Won Memphis May Grand Champion twice. Uh, one whole hog, one shoulder. Of course, one ribs twice. And uh, won Team of the Year twice. Uh, won Best Cooker twice. And won uh, Team of the Year uh, in the sanction contest twice. My God, man. Now, uh, John's really credited with starting it all off. I mean, you were basically here before everybody else was. And well, I was here before everybody else, but I, I, I cooked my first year in, in uh, 1981, which is 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it's been, a, it's been a fun ride. And I promised my wife this morning that next year, uh, will be, I'll be 80 years old, and that will be my last year. It's time to retire, okay? But I've wanted to be a part of it, and I've wanted to see Memphis in May become, uh, I wanted to see it become the greatest, and it is in many, many ways. Um, but this is a all-pork contest, and then they have the anything but, which is fun, but uh, and Kansas City has all everything, you know, and they used to have lamb and they stopped having it. We claim it's because we won it every time. And that gave us too much of an advantage on everybody else. Uh, but really, I want to see barbecue become the next true American sport. Yes. And I think we're getting close. Yes. Uh, we're getting close next week. One week from today, there's a contest in Las Vegas and it's $100,000 worth of prizes. Uh, I would like to see it come to be $100,000 for first prize. Yes. And if we can start and we get, get get there some way or another, then by golly, we'll be there. We'll have we'll have the ability to draw on major sponsors when you get the money up there. Yes. And uh, then you'll have. Um, people willing to put up $5,000 entry fee to get in the game. Of course, you've got that in horse racing, you've got that in uh, NASCAR. Uh, we can do it in barbecue if somebody just gets off their butt and does it. <laughs> well, uh, you know, talk about competition of a whole hog. I tell you, uh, Memphis in May and MBN's the only one who has it. And we went over and Yazoo did her thing and uh, Ten Bones did their thing, and we got it on tape, and it was, it's just special. Uh, what do you think about comp competition of a whole hog? Well, I think whole hog is great. I've uh, been there and done that, uh, and I, I will mention to you this. There were 34 in whole hog this year, uh, 54, I think, in shoulder, 123 in ribs. And so when only three people from hog, three people from shoulder, Three people from rib can be in the final. It's not quite right when there's only three out of 123 can be there. Yes. Or three out of 54. That's pretty close to being, that's parity. But a hot, just 34 whole hog mm -hmm. and, all, and three of them will be in it. Well, you know, that's close to 10%. Yes, okay. And uh, whole hog would be somewhere around 4%. Um, well, no, it would be less than that. It would be like 2%. And then if you look at, uh, look at ribs, I mean, 3, 1% less. Less than 1%. Less than 1%. Yeah, that's not fair. Right. Wow, you know. Uh, they need to change that, and maybe they will. I tell you, competition's always tough, and it, it's always it's hard to make it fair all the time. And uh, uh, but you know, man, what about this weekend? Did you enjoy yourself, John? I did. Uh, it was amazing. This was a different kind of Memphis in May. First of all, we're on asphalt. The second, there's a lot of space. Uh, third, 
Well, we had it all. We've had hot, we've had cold, we've had wind. I I wouldn't be surprised if it snows yet today. <laughs> Yeah, I got here Thursday and it was 95 degrees and, and then I got here yesterday and it was a little bit uh, rainy and I got stuck out in the park a lot and then uh, now today it's real cool and windy, isn't it? You're, you're here and then you're in short sleeves and I'm, I'm standing here wrapped up in a velour jacket and I'm freezing my butt. Well, you know, one thing I want to say in your presence, John, is, uh, you know, I'm trying to put together a television show called Barbecue Superstars. And, you know, you've got people who are living on the circuit now that actually can make enough money to live. And then you got everybody in America who wants to be on a barbecue team. And, you know, i got to say, in a whole lot of ways, if it wasn't for a man named John Willingham, all these years, and back when you started... It wasn't on television, and it wasn't, nobody even hardly knew what it was, but there was a man named John Willingham, a Hall of Famer, somebody that's going to turn 80, that started it all for us. And, you know, I want to shake your hand. And, oh, you. and, and from a lot of people around the country, a lot of people around the world, you know, uh, you know, you exemplify what it's about. We love you. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate those kind words, and I hope that... Uh, that we get through next year and I can just be worthy of it all. <laughs> well, this is Daryl from Barbecue Superstars. And, uh, you know, I, I said it to Jack Daniels that I started at the bottom of the mountain. I climbed all the way to the top when I talked to Rod Gray. But I believe I got an extension on the top. Now I'm on the top. I'm at Memphis in May. I'm up here with John Willingham. I mean, you cannot get closer to the center of the universe of barbecue than I'm standing here right now. It's quite an honor. And, uh, you know, I challenge everybody in the barbecue world, buy some of his sauce. Don't even open the bottle. Put it on your shelf and hold on to it. And then open, it, open some other ones so 30 years from now you can give it to your kids because one of these days that bottle's going to be worth a million dollars. And I got, I, got, I got the pleasure to do an interview. And uh, we just want you to know how much we love you. We thank you. Thank you so very much. And uh, I'm going to get my butt together and get all my knives and everything and go home tonight, put my feet up, and hope I've got a Clint Eastwood movie to watch. <laughs> this is Daryl from Barbecue Superstar saying thanks for stopping by. We love you, John. Thank you.